Yes, you know that song and you know what it means? It means we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. So people have been asking, where is season three? Well, here it is. Welcome to Politricking with CD Madia. My name, you guessed it, is CD Madia. This is episode one of season three of a politics podcast brought to you by Eyewitness News. There's a lot happening in this country. Like, ngapa na ngapa. like South Africa doesn't know <laughs> what slowdown means. Eh? When people are like, calm down, that's not our politics. That's not our country. That's not our psyche as a people. As I speak to you now, Pala Pala is up in the air. Political parties are preparing for marches against the ANC's government, uh, the president, the electricity issue. And I think that's, that's, that's an issue. <laughs> we have an electricity minister. A lot has happened <laughs> since I last was on this podcast. You know, I left you when the ANC elected a new leader. I come back. The day is going to re-elect I'm not even asking, I know. It's going to re-elect John Steenhazen as its federal leader in April. Uh, I left you, Bongani Baloyi was a member of Action and I come back. He's just quit the party. Which leads me to our conversation this week. So we had a sit down with Herman Mashaba to speak about Bongani's announcement. I mean, Bongani's media briefing when he announced his resignation yo spoke about the culture the lack of democracy in the party he spoke about Ndate Mashaba he respectfully refers to him as Ndate Mashaba but hey the accusations and the claims he levels against the leader of actionists and the founder mind you I, they raise eyebrows you know so we speak to him and Mashaba to get his views about that coalitions the future he thinks they'll be in charge of how thing hey me, I'm a voter. I always tell people I also vote in this province and I don't know. Here's our conversation. This is a bit of a catch up. I haven't spoken to this particular leader in a really long time. I intended, funny enough, to speak to him. However, I did not predict the events that unfolded over the past few days, which makes the conversation all the more important because we want to understand what the hell is going on? I'm speaking to Action SA founder and leader, Herman Mashaba. And the event that I'm talking about, of course, is the resignation of the accounting leader, Bongani Banoi, who had a media briefing this week where he spoke about reasons why he could no longer remain a part of Action SA. Hello, Herman, how are you? Fine, how are you, Tia TD? And thank you so much uh, for giving me this platform uh, to uh, to discuss this with you. And uh, as much as I knew we were, this was not going to be the discussion, but uh, at the end of the day, it is topical and it's going to be discussed. Yeah, and that's why I want to start literally on the issue of Bongani Badoi. Yeah. He took to the media this week to explain what he thought unfolded. In your eyes, your version, what do you understand went wrong? In a statement, actually, as he said, irreconcilable differences. Well, anyone knows that there's no such. It's not with the party. It is with the Demashaba. From your eyes, your version, what do you understand happened? Well, uh, I don't understand when um, uh, Mr. Banlori says uh, he does not understand where uh, what I explained to them to be irreconcilable differences. Uh, there are major irreconcilable differences. And I explained to them in this office, and luckily I had two witnesses. I had Arthur Trollip and uh, Michael Boom. And then I, let me tell you why I had uh, these two gentlemen. The Friday, I think the 3rd of uh, February, we had a Senate meeting. And I remember you calling me, I was on my way to uh, uh, to Mpumala, uh, calling me about uh, some issue with... Uh, and I asked you about friction between you and Bong. Yes. So they've been away for a while. Yes. And, uh, and, yes. Yeah. and I said to you, well, to you, but TD, as far as I'm aware, there are frictions like with anyone else. I mean, if there's one person I fight with, uh, or not fight, actually, argue with is Michael than any, anyone else in terms of our approach. But the issue with uh, with Bongani, it's, it's not really something that um, uh, I thought it would really uh, uh, result uh, with this outcome. Unfortunately, build up. So we had another Senate meeting. We, we have our monthly Senate meeting. At the last Senate meeting, things have really been developing that I found really very uncomfortable. And uh, this, to read for you to really have the background, 
uh, as a result of the uh, of uh, the collapse of uh, our negotiations so with the ANC. I think you need to really understand this in, in context because uh, um, I still declare to you I will not do a coalition with the ANC. If you tell me um, coalitions are in disarray and therefore the only way we can have a, a stable coalition with the ANC, uh, with, uh, with any uh, political parties with the ANC, that's for me, I even said on one of your the, the, the tele, uh, radio the, the interviews that in the event that Action is it decides one day to go into a coalition with the ANC, I'm happy to step aside. That is how strong I feel. Because uh, Action SA is a brainchild of a project called the People's Dialogue, where we engaged 2.4 million South Africans, gave us the mandate uh, to... Uh, to start this political party, which I started on the um, on the 29th of August uh, 2020, and one of the was the issues that are very clear is no association with the ANC whatsoever. This proven by the poll we did after the 2021 local government elections. Uh, you remember at um, the, at the IEC Centre, I even said to the ANC to call me after 300 years, and I invited other parties to 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 talk to us. I wanted to delve, delve into that a little bit later, but since you've brought it on, let me understand. Part of what went wrong between the party, or who specifically, and one is a conversation around the ANC. Oh, so no, no, no. That's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a fundamental issue. That is a fundamental, and I'm to bring you to that. But negotiations that started with your blessing, and that is what you said. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me tell you what, what, what happened. You remember after the collapse of uh, the, uh, before the, 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 after the voting out of, uh, the mayor, sorry, the speaker, and uh, and uh, the COP uh, mayor was uh, devoted in. Uh, yes, that's uh, wrong. Uh, no, in Johannesburg. Oh, we no, in Johannesburg. In Johannesburg. That's all, that's, you, you need to understand. Oh, the speaker when COP yeah, was, when was, 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 yeah, was, yeah. was, was voted in. Uh, the following, it was on a Friday, and the following day I was leaving for Kenya to, with one on, on vacation, knowing very well I'm not going to have uh, access uh, to uh, to to to. Uh, to communication. I wanted to really have a break. So my uh, Bongani called me, to, to Michael, that they wanted to come and see me urgently. They wanted to discuss with me. I said, guys, I'm home. you're most welcome to come. So they came. Bongani presented uh, uh, the proposal to me that uh, they've had a very interesting discussion also with, um, with uh, uh, the Sufi, because obviously at the time we lost uh, that the um, uh, speaker position yes. because of of the of of the DA. Uh, so says uh, Herman. This is uh, what uh, this guy has proposed to us. Uh, Lusufi has proposed to us that uh, please can we work together? They will take Johannes back. EFF uh, take uh, Ululen, and then and then we take Tony, and then and then and then and then Bongani will be the the the, the, the mayor. mayor of Tony. I said uh, to them, Bolani, um, it, it does make sense uh, to me. Um, uh, to, uh, firstly, you are aware, actioners, including myself, we, we're not for 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 for, a, for ANC, and I'm leaving to uh, the, tomorrow. I said, look, Bolani, can you go back uh, to the ANC to give uh, the proposal in Vati? Uh, so that I can take it to 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 Senate. I don't want to to call a Senate meeting. I'm happy to ask a Senate to sit and discuss this matter. And I said to him, Wangani, if I arrange a meeting with Senate on this particular aspect, because I don't want anyone to say that I interfered, I would. I'm going to recommend to Senate that they meet. You guys meet in person. Get me that proposal. Sunday up to Sunday night, I'm available from Monday morning. Unfortunately, I'm flying out uh, to Masai Mara. Up to Sunday night, when I called, the proposal is not yet ready. And I said, What do I do? He says, No, Kate, come as a Senate meeting. I will ex explain them. I wrote uh, to Senate, to Senate. Uh, Pogani um, they presented this uh, propo uh, proposal to me. I did not give them the, the details of the proposal, which uh, it does not my fault. I said, okay. but, uh, Because of uh, this DA and this confusion, and let's give him a, a, I would really request you guys as Senate, give him the proposal and whatever decision that you guys take, I'm happy to, uh, to, to, uh, to, uh, to abide by it. Knowing very well that uh, people at XNSA will never accept uh, being uh, uh, in coalition with, with, uh, with uh, ANC. But I said, please, uh, go ahead. 
and that's for sure. Okay, and I said, the place thing to go ahead. Yeah, saying that, not him no, no, at all. Just starting, you, yes. you initially said, get the right, get the proposal and writing. Team. Yeah, absolutely. To that direction. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Absolutely. So he was correct when he said, no, but, he but he's the one, yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, no, because he came to me. And obviously, you can imagine if I'd, I'd refused, I would still really be blamed. So I said, no, to get NC to give us uh, the proposal in, in writing. Well, imagine if I, if I had refused, I'll be called another dictator that I don't deserve. So I listened. I gave him the blessing in writing, but I wrote to Senate. To Senate, I said, Senate, Bongani has got a proposal from the, the, the yeah, NC. Yeah. Can you guys uh, please arrange to meet? But however, I request you to have a physical meeting. I'm, I'm only going for a week. If ever it is possible, this meeting can be virtual because it's a very serious uh, subject matter to discuss. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was on Sunday night from Nairobi when I sent them the, the, the notice for Brahmani to present this proposal, which he then did. Uh, on Wednesday, I believe they, mean, they met um, uh, at the Protea Hotel uh, at, at, the, at, at the airport. Senate decided to say, look, guys, this is a tricky safe situation. Why only talk to the ANC? Let's talk to other parties, including unions. Uh, That's what you came up to us as a U.S.S. coalition. No, no, that listen, listen to what happened in that in that Senate meeting. Sure. So the Senate said, "Why only talk to the ANC? Let's talk to 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 the the other parties, uh, unions, Salga, and so forth." Over and above that, we said the the Senate took a decision to say, "Let's do a poll." Because that's well and good, we can go and talk to all the parties. But what about our members? Let's run a poll with our members to understand now if they're, they're happy for us. Uh, in any platform, to, if ever NC gives us anything palatable to, to accept. And that's uh, the decision that the uh, Senate took okay. uh, on that Wednesday. Come back on Friday, the match is all over the, 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 the media. Uh, blaming Bongani and uh, and Michael that uh, they were planning a coup in my absence. So I'm sure you. I'm on record from that Friday on my arrival to clarify to the media that um, Bongani and uh, this thing had my mandate. Check with uh, any media person who interviewed me. It's on record. I said these people had them the mandate, even Senate to have the Senate. And I said I'm glad one of the decisions that Senate took was to run uh, the, so the 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 the, sub, the survey. In fact, in one of the the interviews I had with um, with uh, wouldn't with I punch him? Yeah, yeah, the audience. Clement then said to Bat Hammond, what happens? Because uh, when I spoke to Clement, it was on Monday, and we were expecting to release the results uh, on Friday because we did not want the, the, the survey to run for a long time. So Clement asked me a question. He says, Hammond, uh, that's well and good uh, what you are saying. You gave them the, uh, the, 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 the mandate, and obviously you agreed on running the, the survey. What's going to happen if your members say, um, you know, uh, you must go into a coalition. Oh, well, why don't you in that survey? I said, oh, I, I said, I said, I said, uh, Clement, let me tell you something. I, as him and Mashaba, if uh, our members, the 2.4 million people who gave us the mandate, they want to go in with the ANC, unfortunately, I'm happy to step aside. However, let me tell you, Clement, not going anywhere because actioners will never vote, will never vote for if, uh, us to go into a coalition. And, and the survey came on out on Friday. ANC got minus forty two percent of the people who voted. That's all good and well. Henry. Now, now I want to take. Yeah, I'm now to get to the point. I want yes. us to get to the point of then in all of that, what will draw with Mohani specifically? Yes, and then the very same afternoon, uh, my colleagues calling me, uh, the senators calling me about my interview with Clement that I uh, collapsed uh, uh, and preempted uh, the outcome. I said, uh, what do you mean I preempted uh, the outcome? I confirmed uh, you guys are being called, call, we, we, we're being uh, the accused of uh, running a coup, coup, uh, coup that you, you never had my mandate. You had my mandate in the, the Senate. There's a reason why you had this meeting with Senate. And I'm hit with the decision that Senate uh, took, including running and the, 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 the survey. And I said, to guys, I'm not apologizing to anyone. That in the event those actioners want to 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 go with the uh, uh, with uh, 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 with ANC, I'm happy for them to continue. But I cannot be associated uh, with ANC. And the survey, 
Unfortunately, uh, uh, Bongani took this personal. Until a week later, I had more than an hour meeting with him to explain to him, uh, said Bongani, yes, the, the survey, do you think I, I influence uh, the other 30,000 people? First, and secondly, Bongani, you know my position with the ANC from day one. Other thing, Bongani, which is of critical importance, which I ask you the Friday when you came to me with Michael, when you said, uh, uh, the Sufi suggests that you become the mayor of Tony. I said to Bongani, how are you going to turn Tony around when Tony is, is broke? And he says, no, but uh, the Sufi said he'll, he'll get him the money from National Treasure. I said, how is that going to happen, uh, Bongani? Because the uh, ANC municipalities all over the country are broke. Why would uh, an action a uh, municipality get preferential treatment? It is for that reason I said, I want uh, this proposal in, in writing because it's nonsense what the uh, Sufi has promised. He's playing games with you. There's no way that he can get you. It's illegal for him to really get you money in, in that way, firstly. And secondly, why do you think... Uh, uh, he's going to treat uh, HNSA uh, differently. And the risk is that that means if now they support us in 20, it means uh, now, what about all cases of corruption in in uh, in, in, uh, jo in Johannesburg and uh, Ikubulene that are coming out? Do you think because so obviously we vote that we, we are now at the MS in 20? So that means uh, our activism in, in Johannesburg would be neutralized. I said, uh, if you don't really say the, this, Bogani, then honestly, I, I can I can help you. But let me fast forward it to end of January. That was the 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 final nail for me. One morning, on the day of uh, the election of the speaker at um for oh, yes. end of January, Michael calls me the first thing in the morning, wakes me up. Uh, he says, "Heaven, I've really received a strange call from Bogani." saying that uh, our caucus in uh, Ikuruleni uh, um, says uh, they, they want to fill uh, the, uh, the, their own uh, speaker because uh, they've managed to secure the support of the ANC and EFF. My goodness, I said, uh, Michael, uh, what, what nonsense is this? It is I mean, in my, in my world. I said, Michael, what nonsense? I said, to please, Michael, tell that uh, um, caucus. I'm not calling because obviously for us to accept something like that is a Senate decision. I said, Michael, I'm not calling a Senate for this nonsense. Uh, the, con the council is today at 12 o'clock. I said, I'm not calling Senate to debate this particular matter. We've just had uh, a survey. The, the job of one was hardly a few months old. I said, I'm not really prepared to really go through that. And I said to Michael, look at the Google the, the, with, with the numbers. Basically, you, uh, what uh, the, this caucus is suggesting is for us to be the caretaker mayor for the ANC and EFF. I said, Michael, I'm not taking this to Senate. I'm rejecting it outright. Uh, they're rejecting outright. So Michael obviously went uh, to Becca uh, to Bongani. I believe Bongani was not happy. Then Michael suggested to say, Bongani, you know what? Let me personally speak to this uh, caucus to understand what the hell is going on. For sure, Michael at 12 o'clock that, uh, that day had a um, the caucus meeting with, uh, with Tohi and his team. You know, to Michael's shock, to Michael's shock, caucus said, guys, this has been a, a, we've been told Senate is the one that we must field. And we were against this. We, there's no way that we we want to really be a caretaker for the for the NC. The provincial chairperson is asking us uh, to fill. He says it is Senate has approved. It's a Senate decision. Senate decision. So you can imagine now Michael finds himself in that situation where he was told it is uh, the caucus. Now caucus is saying it was a Senate uh, decision. Hold on. Now tell me. Hold on, Hannah. Yes. Are you saying to me because if you tie both stories together? Bohani was doing the NC's bidding in action and say that you're dealing with the situation. I'm reading it uh, uh, as such, and that's what I explained to them here last Tuesday to say, but Wangani, how, how do you tell me? Do you, do you understand the implications of uh, what would have happened if um, if uh, caucus had listened to you, that they put someone? I mean, it would have been the end of action, they say, because so one thing, Wangani, I'm telling you, I would have asked uh, the following day, to get uh, the, the same day to ask them to resign, but but the damage would have already been done because uh, how am I going to explain to society about being associated with the ANC? I said, uh, 
Tell me what what was the motive behind or yes. why is your well, what do you think is the motive? No, I think uh, the, please ask him and ask uh, the the caucus. Uh, the, I'll happily ask him, but I want you as a leader. No, it's a it's something. What is your reading? No, my my reading it's it is the man is determined uh, to really bring the ANC back uh, through the back door. I mean, it is clear, it is really very clear, and and there's no way then. You can expect me now. I must already trust someone like that too. Who can? Then why try to put me spokesperson? No, you know, uh, Dohan is is a lovely guy. I take you uh, and uh, you know I respect it. I said, do you know what? Running the the the, the province, it looks like it's it's a complex matter for you. First is not only obviously the major one is is to do with this ANC matter because for me it's very 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 bad. But uh, CD. You look at uh, the structures in in uh, in in Houting in particular. You know, you know, in, in terms of putting structures in Houting, Houting is behind all the provinces. So Mulani Barwe goes to the members of the media, speaks about all the different things he's done as chair of this province, how he sets up structures, how this 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 programs that put place. Was he lying? My oh, goodness, I, I think. Uh, to, uh, please talk to any of our senators uh, about uh, the South African dream. This uh, last, remember, we we issued uh, a, a statement uh, after we had uh, last uh, uh, February. We went on our first strat, strat session after after COVID uh, in the Drakens, but few decisions were taken. It and it's contained in our statement. One of the projects that we agreed as a team was to establish what we call a South African dream. It's so, brainchild. It, it's in our statement. That's not answering my question. Yes, it's in, in our statement. It's not his brainchild. It can be your statement. No, no. Is it, it his brainchild? It, I mean, it's no, not it's not his brainchild. That's all. The yeah. only thing we... Uh, we, we did, did, you look at the various uh, decisions that we take it, and then we appointed everyone to be responsible for running a particular project. But Nani was given the assignment to run with the with, uh, with the South African dream. But the, the actual substance of the South African dream coming from our policy unit, because uh, <laughs> those are the people who are driving the policies. Bongani was supposed to be the face to really drive that process, but everything coming from uh, from our policy unit. Talk to me about Swani quickly. It seems to be a region that's also part of the contention that he, the contentious issues that he brought up in his media briefing this week, where he speaks about how there was a desire to disband. In fact, Enchinus has now appointed uh, Phil Zugoweni as the caretaker chair of the province, but in that appointment, the belief by people like Hohan is that one of the first tasks is to de- disband a region like Tswani. Yeah, no, absolutely. Because uh, we, we've we got, uh, the, uh, we want me to show you correspondence from uh, REC of Tswani, asking him over time, eventually wrote uh, the, to, to me and my, wrote to him and copied Michael and I. To say, Bongani, we've been asking you to disband this toxic this thing, and you are part of this. We, as much as you don't want us to copy the president, we are going to copy him. And we said, Mr. President, we are copying you because uh, this man is toxic, is dividing us, is dividing rule, and uh, he uh, and what he's doing is unacceptable. We said uh, we are not going to. And I've got Bongani was dividing one. Uh, I can show you. No, no, no. I, I want to understand. Not only Tswani, the, the other regions as well, but Tswani was the most toxic. So he was fading at his job. Oh, big time. And then I, it will back to, then why make it the no, most? No, of no. The, the, sometimes, you, you know, uh, when, when, when you do the skills audit of people, so some people can fail on one aspect and, and not, and not on, on that. Not toxic. But you know, a movement before it makes sure you yeah, want to make him a masterpiece. Yeah, and, but we said, to, let's give him an opportunity because obviously he's got an ambition to be the premier. Oh, we we said, for, yeah, no, but, uh, but, but, but he's not going to be in charge of, of our structures which is trying to so we wanted to i wanted personally wanted to see if he's obviously committed we give him a job as a spokesperson fortunately as a spokesperson he can't uh, sabotage us behind the scene much manipulating structures so i said well Gane, we have, uh, what you can do you've got an opportunity we give you a high profile job you're still on senate you can profile yourself you've got an ambition to be the premier of all things yet yeah, an opportunity i'm giving you but giving you the responsibility for structures. Unfortunately, you're too toxic for that job. 
Um, don't buy that story. Let me oh, tell what? What? Let me say more to me. Well, I'm not convinced by this explanation. Well, uh, I've never wanted someone who's failed, who I've defined as toxic and divisive, to be the mouthpiece of urbanization. To the yeah, country where I, I can't talk to buy in to to get new buy in for people who never voted for me. You want a national platform I'm going to elect you. Yeah, but yeah, it but, makes no sense why that person with no but, 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 but it makes sense to me. Voice. But it makes sense to That's me. That's I'm the big no, <laughs> no, no, but as human beings. We make decisions uh, the best possible because at the end of the day, I said, "Bongani, uh, this is an opportunity I'm, I'm I'm giving you." And obviously, here he said, he, "No, he, he rejected it." But I said, "Okay, that's fine, Bongani. I will inform my uh, Senate uh, tonight." And he said, "No, please, can I be given time?" Do you do you recognize this moment as a loss, as a dent to action, as a losing somebody? Like one and wondering. Uh short term, uh, but long term, I can tell you. Uh, you know, uh, human beings must understand uh, what, whether it's politics or as business. If you can't make decisions, then you are bound to fail. If you want to, well, one thing that, that I think it's a it's a biggest weakness of South African politics uh, in general. It's a lack of leader, decisive leadership. People, people, people want to to manage things uh, in a more bad way because they think uh, there will be bad publicity. I can tell you this whole issue with uh, Bongani Baloi. Uh, uh, actioners are celebrating all over. Actioners, uh, people who are supporters, I, and you will see. It. And you will see the work, good work of uh, Funzi now. You'll see branches being opened because Bongani was blocking people from opening branches. Let's move to very quickly. Let's speak about Nke in Malapo. She has been, term- her membership has been terminated. Still- and part of what the letter, the letter that we saw had to be with a partnership with Abel Tower, another member whose membership was terminated due to other reasons. Um, I also want to understand that because Ngele and Abel, I imagine that relationship is something the party has always been aware of, even when the party parted with Abel. That relationship always existed. And for it to not feel like the excuse for her to be removed from the party, again, people aren't necessarily convinced. People feel like there's a different reason. Which people? Uh, uh, this is just ask commentators. Well, yeah, that means you do not really read. Uh, you, you read the headlines, you don't read uh, what's in there. Uh, uh, this woman was using her, 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 her position in the party to feed our information to uh, to uh, whether it's a boyfriend or husband. I believe they now doesn't live what married. They do something will happen in, in PC or in our structures within hours. Uh, Abel has got in that information. So that's going uh, so when you have someone like that in, in your organization, we don't really want to uh, to manage a re- romantic relationship. It's not it's none of our well, business. It's none of our it's business, but it's about uh, the, we've got evidence, fortunate enough. That's why we're asking okay. yeah, go to court, uh, uh, the uh, Ngele. We will demonstrate to court uh, with the type of games uh, that you've be really been playing with. Let me ask you this. A few months ago, I called you, and as a Brutus Magala Action SA member, is said to be in meetings uh, with his wife, who is a DA that was contesting for power, Dr. Mpo Palat. And Brutus is tied to link to meetings, which is trying to move people to join our campaign. I asked you about that. Did you investigate that? Because I would imagine that if that rumors or anything like that about the one, he should also get the same amount of scrutiny that he even gave his cotton. Has that happened? No, but uh, uh, so you remember very well what I said to you. I said, uh, Brutus does not sit on any of our structures, even at the lowest level of our, of our structure. So his relationship with uh, with um, Popalazzi, I cannot really see the relevance. If it was someone who was, old, remember I told you, I said, uh, where do I begin? Because I want to bring be- it up again. So yes, no, no. But what I'm trying to say is that uh, the man does not sit on any of the structures of Action SA up to the lowest. Uh, the, the thing he's a, he's, a, he's a member of Action SA. He 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 openly supports us, but he doesn't sit on any of our yeah, structures. So unlike uh, Ngele, said Ngele said on our PC, said on our REC, he's our media person. Okay. Which which uh, okay. which uh, um, uh, Buritas is not. So uh, honestly, because it's going to like accept that. Like that. Okay. I want to move to a few more things that Barney mentioned and then move away from that. 
the rhythm you drive our Bafana, what is your sense of, because it's not the first time, maybe I've made similar things about Bafana, uh, now you that one, but you also make your claims, and your sister Nancy also comes into the conversation as well. Just could comment on these two names and the allegations around pretty much tenders in essence contracts in particular cities. What is your take on the things? I think it's, it's a laughable uh, city. I'm sure if you follow the media, uh, Bafana and was uh, to with uh, the people's dialogue. From day one when I started this party, as uh, our head of uh, security and, uh, and intelligence, because when I started this project, I knew there'll be people uh, who will come and disrupt. So I was surprised yesterday uh is saying uh Bafana is uh, is that is my driver. I think uh, when he last there was Bafana a driver, but he knows himself when he joined the party, every senior person to sit on our Senate, we do the vetty. Bafana does that uh, to, to ensure that we check people, check any of our of our senators, and we, we do it with our permission. We don't really do it uh, behind the scenes so to make sure that when we bring in someone, it's not someone who's got issues, who's got criminal offenses, uh, the Malquerela uh, thing in Swanee. We try and manage that. Bafana, it comes from the, uh, why I recruited Bafana? Because it comes from the intelligence, uh, the background. Bafana is not just my driver. I'm, so I'm afraid uh, for some reason, uh, Bongani decided to demote you. It's it's a really very un, very unfortunate. The claim is against your sister. You know, I, I, my sister sent me. She did with the doing an interview that uh, she was forced to. She, she was she had to work with my sister to do what. Uh, I think we, we need to get Ngele to really tell you what do. We, why I don't know if there's anyone who asked Ngele to work with Nancy to do what. Because there's there are certain things that I've had in the past with uh, Abel uh, talking about uh, Bafana coming to room with tenders, and I said, but what tenders? What has Abel uh, got to do with tenders? The tenders are so far away from him. Why why must uh, uh, Abel get involved in tenders as a as, as a MMC? I mean, it's a ridiculous. Uh, I don't know if you listen to Abel's uh, clips, which are manufactured. You can see they are manu uh, manipulated. And uh, yeah, that was taking it from all over. Yeah. And, uh, so one thing is, and let me tell you why it, uh, that particular meeting uh, um, Bafana had with, with uh, Abel. With my permission, and also I'm happy to show you in writing to my, my letter to the DC. Because uh, one Saturday, sometime in the middle of last year, um, the Tony team had a fundraising at dinner, and uh, Abel didn't show up. I had nothing. I mean, we had a house. I, I didn't notice. So on, on my way, that's when Bafana uh, informed us. Uh, I received a call from Abel's wife. Uh, Abel assaulted her badly. Um, because they had a fight, because Abel, you know, the wife uh, felt Abel is not using an excuse of coming to the fundraising, was coming to meet with, uh, with NK. So she wants my intervention. The following day, I contacted um, our head of uh, DC to say, guys, honestly, I don't want to get involved in, uh, in romantic matters. Can you guys please file talk to Abel's wife to give us affidavit before we do anything? I guess I had discussions with her. I can show you Abel's wife or something. No, listen, this is very important because if you miss this, uh, you, 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 you'll be, uh, you, you'll be, be in, in fault. So Alistair contacted uh, Abel's wife to say, Abel's wife, uh, the president has requested uh, that, uh, you know, to ask you, can you give us the statement in right to before he acts? And uh, for some reason, Abel's wife says, no, nothing actually happened to me. I didn't speak to Bafana. Oh. My goodness. And lucky enough, uh, then Alistair wrote a letter to say, if, uh, if that is the case, we apologize because obviously we got uh, the information that uh, you wanted the president to intervene, but he can't intervene until he's got in writing. But if you believe nothing happened, that, that is fine. Let's take the case closed. But at the same time, obviously, this matter, everyone in Twane is, is aware about this. In the WhatsApp group, Elvin's wife, I can show you uh, her soul and face, which she sent herself to uh, to action as what happened to her the previous day. 
I then said to our, uh, to our team, we've got uh, Fana, who's our uh, head of intelligence, to say, please, uh, uh, Abel, we respect your wife's decision, but can you please uh, uh, to do something about this thing? Yes, sir. Yeah, we saw, so we said, uh, please, buff the verbal fan. Go and speak to him because I don't, I could don't. Was it be fine to intervene in domestic? Yeah, I said yes. I said yes. I said yes. So I said I'd send him and I informed uh, the DC or that um, Alas Bafana to go and speak to Abel to say, Abel, this whole thing is going to really embarrass us if you don't really do something about it. We don't want to interfere in, in, in your in your the relationship. And luckily, Bafana uh, in that meeting, as he claims, he had the, 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 the witness, the, it was a drill of them. The one of the people he had was Kenny. That time, Kenny is the, the 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 guy that Alex uh, the Abel tried to rape his wife. But at the time, they, they were still big men. Yeah. Uh -huh. So 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 obviously the ba Bafana's meta. I think you can find out from Bafana to really give you. But Bafana had my mandate to uh, to get. So all his actors always had your mandate. Yes. And, 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 and not behind the scenes. Uh, the, I've got it in writing, uh, asking for intervention. Let's speak about 20 coalitions. Um, the DA this week asked for its members to vote via numbers, the sequence of numbers so that they can identify. I mean, you have a problem in the multi-party coalition. You've had lie detector tests. You're trying to flush out people who betray, supposedly, the agreement that's on the table. It didn't really count to a... ATM speaker was elected. What is your sense of that? What is your reading of that? And how did you even decide that its members will number, will vote via numbers so they can track what's going on? Look, I think, uh, TD, we live in a very abnormal uh, life. You remember in, in Johannesburg uh, with the election of the speaker at, at, the, at the time? Uh, yeah, of, yeah. Of, the, of, of the speaker that day. Uh, you remember Action SA went to the police station to lay charges against the ANC uh, when Lincoln Machaba was offered 250,000 rents uh, to not be in the council. One of our councillors who we, we fired within 48 hours, never sure. The guy was not our, the, one, one of our councillors didn't come to council. That day, whole day, Thursday, we looked for him everywhere. He had his phone, all we had. The people at his house, to find out where he is, was nowhere to be found. Friday morning, we then wrote him a letter to say, Chuck, I can't forget, I can't remember his name. We wrote him a letter to say, please, can you tell us why uh, you you did not attend uh, the meeting on, on Friday, uh, so on Thursday? And he said, you know, he was in hospital. And we gave him until, said, okay, we give you until Sunday, six o'clock. Please give us the proof uh, of uh, the, of, um, of uh, your records of being in hospital, or otherwise, uh, unfortunately, we're gonna take a decision to to expel you. Unfortunately, he never showed up. He never uh, responded uh, the, to our letter. And uh, that Sunday, we had a Senate meeting, expelled him from the party, and he never uh, challenged our our decision. But the matter with uh, with Lincoln Mach Machaba, you know very well, Lincoln with our people went to the police station to get lay charge against uh, the AC people who offered him 250,000 pounds to stay away from the meeting. I'm sure you know about that. It's public. Mm -hmm. So obviously what happened in Tony, do you think uh, it, it is an isolated case? It's a, it's a unique case. When, when, eight of, when eight of our coalition partners, uh, of the coalition partners, eight of them wounded with ANC from Aquarela. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. No. What? And I'm asking you to weigh in on. I, don't, I, I know that they can make it all manner of legal appenates in trying to individual counselors. I don't deny that. It's not what's wrong with our system. So I, but I'm now asking you to weigh in on the papers for me. The DA is saying, as you vote, vote, you vote one, you vote two. You don't use an X. As per the ballot, you are allowed to mark in any other way. But they ask for numbers so that they can count and see who would have gone awry. That's what we're doing. For me, that circumvents democratic practices. For me, that undermines the individual rights for a secret ballot because you're asking it to be, to be shown. It's similar to me to when EFF says to its counselors, take a picture of your ballot paper. It circumvents 
democratic practices. I want you to weigh in on that okay, let me weigh. as a way to deal with the fact okay, that the let, 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 let me weigh on that. Sure. Uh, are you aware uh, the uh, IEC uh, regulation on voting allows you to use numbers? But I said it. Why no, are you, are you aware it is allowed? I'm one away. You are you are away. Okay, so that's I'm one away. away. I and, think what the, the reason why the IEC counted those sports ballots is because the IEC is not also not stupid. They can see the trend. They can see numbers that are forming something. No, but and but, that's why but, no, but, 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 Yeah, but to but yeah, but but what I'm trying to say is that uh, are you aware that uh, the IEC regulation they've it's on our web the, uh, it's on our it way. is allowed to you can put in I'm hours aware. when you you are pa a party. Now facing with the situation of uh, de democracy being on the market, on sale. Now, what do you do to really protect? You also won't know when you circumvent democracy in order to manage. No. Well, when you are faced uh, with with a direct that you've got to really be stupid, not to really do something to 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 circumvent, to ensure that I think you are protected. So, we are saying to our because we believe. Uh, as action as a uh, with our with our, with our uh, our counselors. That's why we ran a, a, a lie detector test, and we don't really would, uh, uh, apologize to anyone about it. As much as we don't know who four we four said members failed, isn't it? Yeah, four of them failed. Where are they now? Within council, did they vote? Yeah, they voted. So from what we can, what I, I was told, uh, uh, they were suspect that two did not vote with us. But uh, I'm again, together. okay. Um, I believe, uh, from what uh, my team tells me, I'll always. So, are you also going to find ways to? Yeah, no, no, we not. No, no. Our, 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 tell me when when you vote for a party, uh, because we as Action SA we go out to the voters to say vote for us because we are not going to work with the ANC, and we go into caucus. You agree with the position of caucus, and then you then want to come and tell us an excuse that you vote with your conscience. If you vote with your conscience, you are given an opportunity in a caucus meeting to just raise your issue to say, guys, I don't support to the spot. consequences of someone you said that the reason we all know they don't do that is fear of consequences. But after oh, yeah, the so after then, after what you're saying, I mean, is it's okay for all of his opposition parties to stand on the soapbox and say to the ANC, you know, ANC leaders and councils, the legislatures must hold to their conscience, but it's not okay for your party members. It, de it depends on the motive. The thing is, if if we are going to put uh, our democracy on on say, uh, where we, with the ANC, we know it's to defend and protect the corruption. Because that's exactly what ANC is, is, is trying to do, forcing their people to protect the corruption. They are preventing parliament from exercising their right to ensure that uh, we, we can fight corruption in this country. Now, in this particular case, the ANC's hand is also involved in the uh, buying people. Must we just sit back uh, like fools? We honestly will be fools uh, to not really act on this particular matter. So... I can tell you and I can assure you, and I want to assure people of this country and all the actioners, we are going to investigate fairly uh, those uh, that uh, that uh, feel that they want to uh, vote on conscience and vote with the ANC. Once you've got proof, they're out. Are we not going to apologize to anyone about it? Um, because we've made it clear as Action SA or that we'll never vote with the ANC. If you, your conscience says, so if you're members, was it? Then why the four field you like to take the test? No, they, they voted. They probably, we spoke to uh, to to, to, the, to them. But but one thing that you must have, no no but, no but yes but but, but 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 no but one one thing that you must understand uh, is not we didn't give anybody warning. Uh, you must under, you must understand uh, the, uh, the uh, light detector test is not conclusive. That's uh, something that you must understand. So, you, so, you so, understand it yourself. No, yes, we have to prison, it but, but, it, but have it in the court of law. Yes, uh, but it gives you an idea. That is why we did not ready fire uh, them. We want everyone to say, guys, please be fair to us. If you fail, you want to vote on conscience, then debate issues with us in caucus. But don't let us, don't betray us. Uh, to uh, to we commit that we're going to vote ANC out and you tell us you're using your conscience. Unfortunately, that is, I think it's a, it's a betrayal of the highest order and Action SA is going to follow other processes. I can tell you if we find and we've got evidence 
of any of our councillors who voted with the ANC. They're out. They're out the door. Tell me something. Do you take, as action I say, do you take responsibility for the state of our um, metros and Karte? I mean, service delivery in essence has come to a grant or halt. Every other month, every other week, there is some sort of chaos and instability, be it a woman anywhere I live, be it Johannesburg, be it Swanee. And this is happening in Mohali City. People don't talk about it enough, but there are going on. So there's a motion that's at fight at war in Mohali City. Does the, does action is a also take responsibility for the state of the Metros? I think, uh, uh, TD, if, if you look at the issues uh, in a proper perspective, if you look at uh, us as section, they say how hard we tried uh, to really have stable governments. Firstly, we thought that uh, the DA, uh, without their knowledge, when they pulled out of uh, negotiations uh, with us, uh, the first uh, council meeting to elect the mayor and the speaker, we voted uh, the ANC, the DA, so that we can keep the ANC out. And we wanted, and for us, it was not about uh, uh, positions. When uh, there, there was this issue with the ANC putting together to remove the speaker. And the issue that, fortunate enough, we were already, to, for all the pan coalition partners, had raised with the ANC, with ADA months before to say, DA, there is a move by the ANC to mobilize so all the smaller parties. Um, so please, can we ensure that uh, we, we, we correct this? Let's. Can you please remove the, the, the speaker and we suggest that we, you put uh, uh, one, someone either from the IFP or PA. The aid outright rejected that, that, that. I'm sure you remember that uh, very well. That, 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 that's how we lost it. Now, obviously, the PA walked out because we, we were in, in, insulted. We tried everything possible to get the, the PA to come back so that you can remove the... the so you absolve yourselves as a party from the mess? Well, well uh, what more can we do? Uh, we, we don't have the majority. Do you not antagonize your coalition part of the DA? Because what you often do, I mean, is you then come out in public to slam the DA uh, about its handling of the coalitions. Of course, the ways to agitate it to push them to no, all but, but it's... But does that not all take an already difficult no, relationship? Yeah. Please, uh, please do do your homework. Every time when we, we, we will respond, we will, we will issue anything, it is responding to DA blaming. No, you didn't do that in the pool. In the pool, you came out saying you're warning us ahead of time. You're not responding. Yeah, no, we were warning. Yes, it was. A, but but we sh we shared with you. We had a press conference to warn you. To, and so that's my question to you. Oh my God, that's not homework. Yes, no, you not. My question is, does that not agitate your relationship? No, but it does. No, it. but remember we said to you, and uh, DA is there, we've got minutes of those meetings. After engaging DA for two months to say, DA, let's form a, a, multi, let's form a majority government. And uh, obviously with the DA refusing, because at the time, we, at the instruction of the DA, requested me to speak to the EFF to take uh, Section 79 uh, committees, which EFF accepted. And uh, after that, they used to insult the, the EFF. So we realized uh, in Gurulene, 93 councillors, we've got no chance. You need 108. So we then had that press conference. We, what did we say at that conference? We said to you guys that we tried to get a, a DA to form a majority government because a minority, you can't run a, a stable minority government unless you fix it up. You delicious now. So we wanted to warn people so that people know in advance because we don't live a, in in a in a fictional world. Oh, okay. We live in a real world, and uh, and it was after massive engagement of the of the ANC of sort of the DA, and we've got records of the, of those meetings, and we did share it with you all, uh, and media and people of Igbo What must happen in twenty twenty four after the election predictions? What must happen to get stability at provincial level and obviously at national? Coalitions are not going away. The third remain part of our conversation. What needs to happen to stabilize coalitions? Well, I think uh, one option that personally I, I see is for Action SA to really be the leader of uh, any coalition. Because when we as Action SA uh, the lead, it for us is not about position. It's about uh, entertaining and uh, listening to all our coalition partners. So, and that's what's going to happen. You come 2024, the, the holding, yeah, you can hold me to it. 
if we are not going to win, how the out that we will be the majority party. You need to meet the numbers. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. already lost a chair, and you lost. Oh, so. Let me finish. You've lost a chair that you pretty much say hasn't done anything. We are just over a year ahead of elections. You pretty much said you were failing in his job. He wasn't moved in structures. He was divisive. So late in the game, and you still think you're going to win Khao Deng. Tell me. When you said, well, oh, they haven't pretty much done anything. Well, well, okay. But it's your will, it's not mine. But uh, I, I, I don't know, uh, TD, what, what you're listening to. We, what, 14 months uh, to elections? Yeah. We. Look at no 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 wait wait so I want, no 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 I'm I, I want, no I want no I want no no victory you haven't done the work no no I'm saying li listen to this and I want I want to challenge you as a oh. gen uh, as a journalist and I know you're a good one I want to challenge you what uh, the polls and uh, the, all the clever people said about Asian is uh, in the outing. But that we the biggest uh, joke. They said if we get three votes, uh, even a week before the election, they said if Action SA gets uh, three uh, councillors, they'll be lucky. Action SA contested as a logo. Remember, we contested the logo. IEC refused to put our name. How many councillors do we have in the city of Johannesburg? I'm not sure, but I'm not sure. Four months. Okay. Wait, the third biggest. That's one. look, but also. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't. don't. I, I, I'm just giving an example. I'm taking an example, but just also remember that you contested a city where you learn as mayor. You did not. No, but uh, so 20, 20, 20, 20 you or 9. No, but you're in Khao oh. So your footprint is still very much known and felt in Khao I oh. can accept that. I think national is a different ball game. I'm not saying, I'm not writing you off, Ramon, but I do think that. Wait, that, wait, that, let, that, me, let me get to a point. Don't want to fuck on that with it. I've never heard people use phrases like implosion when it comes to action SA, but this chapter with Valani Baloui has resulted in it that it didn't happen with Makosi Kwaza. It didn't happen with any other leader, even with Abel. But when people heard of Valani Baloui, people are like, is Action SA. When I, when you keep asking who's no, it's, 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 I'm it's, selling them. No, who are after? It might be you are, well, no, that's right. Because, because you, 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 you're after you're after headlines. <laughs> you don't you, you don't you know what the work we we are, we are doing on the ground. You will see. In, in, but but in, but in, but in, because he said he wasn't doing but, anything. I can't, no, I'm not saying did not uh, it, it did not do much. If I look at uh, you know, we've got more branches in Limpopo uh, than Rahouti. We've got more branches in Northwest uh, than uh, uh, No, we've got 14 months to go. The structures are there. Actioners are celebrating right now. As I'm talking to you, I had a uh, PC of Houting yesterday, last night, and uh, to put, I challenge you to speak to, to, to them, including the the, uh, the, the the speak to anyone. So, 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 Look, I'm giving you the permission. Pick anyone of um, uh, the uh, um, caucus of Ikuruleni about this particular matter. I'm, I'm taking that. Please do. Uh, um, so your prediction in 2024 is that you do have a strategy ahead Big, that uh, will work. You will take for province like Houting. Houting, absolutely. We we well, we the not, not, we're not uh, the, if we're not going to take it outright, will be but will be the biggest party. That is is for sure. Will be the biggest party in in, in Houting. Houting. In Houting. In Houting. You, you can hold me to this. I absolutely will. Please hold me to this. I don't, when do you see yourself vacating the seat of leader of action as staying at MN? Quite as soon as soon as the ANC is is out of uh, power. I've so I've said this. Uh, I've. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe 2024. <laughs> we're not going to have ANC government in 2024 in this country. So that's when you will vacate the seat of need of No, no, I can't leave immediately because obviously I'll, I'll be defined. So no, not not only immediately. No, uh, uh, what? So the, the, no, 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 no. It's not a question of either. My plan to 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 the party, and I'm requesting them because I'm 63 now. And I got into politics uh, because so I wanted to save my country. The sooner I can leave politics, the better. But for as long as we've got this evil criminal enterprise called ANC in, in government, I'm not going to. We're going to work towards uh, the removal. So I'm saying is, and I've said to to my team, and some of them are saying, please, uh, one term is not going to be enough. But I said, I'll be saving I want to really go back uh, to my capitalist. I like, I like to be in an environment where I'm... Capitalist ways. Where I'm, I'm so, well, come 2024, 
will uh, we hope that the DA can can uh, stop this uh, entertaining this idea of working with the ANC because it is of major concern to us because we will need the DA to be able to really form uh, a coalition at the government to remove the ANC with with the other parties we've got that uh, the, the Freedom Front plus IFP ACDP DA and us if we committed to this project. Come 2024, ANC is out of, out of government. Let's quickly speak about the revolution of action and say, as, as it stands, you as a leader, you get to pick provincial leaders and the likes. You don't have elections that run for people to win, to run particular provinces and the like, and, and, and those kind of structures. When will that change? Because... Yeah, the piece, uh, the, look, sometimes, uh, and I'm, I'm saying this honestly with, with a complete respect, I think if you look at uh, our constitution from day one, we've really made it clear. Tell me if I have uh, an elective, national elective conference uh, today, who's going to come to that conference? Because you can only form conference once you've got uh, that structure. So it is there openly in our constitution that we will only have a constitution. Once we've got, we've got 60 60% of, we hope... Because of we put in structures in place to contest uh, the 2029, we said no, uh, 29 months after that, uh, we must have. It is in, in our country. Nine months, you mean after 24? After 24. 24. Yes. You're hoping that you find in a way to find. Because we said, we, we, well, tell me if we, uh, well, that, we have, well, that's how democracy comes into Yes, state. because tell me how, if Action SA has to have a, a, a conference tomorrow, who's coming to that conference? The branches you have in Mpopo and housing and everywhere and then, and then, and then <laughs> other people were, I mean, we, we've just appointed uh, the Western Cape now. We've just appointed uh, the, uh, even uh, the KZN and, and others. They don't even look Mpopo. They've not really covered. We want them as have 60 percent. Yes. And it's in our constitution. It's not It's not something that... Uh, it's up in the air. Yeah. Um, the notion that when you are upset first off, irritated, cut wall, you seem to dangle the fact that you are the founder and the face of actually say to people, where people say, and don't ask me those people again, but people tend to say things like, oh, heaven will threaten to walk away. You know, he can't walk away because he is actually say. Just that your reaction to people thinking that that's how you wield your power here. You threaten to leave and they know that if you go, that's capital to run the organization out the door. Any time, it's, it's not really a threat, uh, but, uh, but uh, CD. For me to say to action as that the day when they decide uh, that they want to work with the ANC, please leave me out. Because I've never said to certain people, I'll leave for what? So those because the only time I. People have that action as they say such things to us and lying. Oh, they're lying to you, if I may put it uh, that way. Oh, they must give me the evidence. I've said to you, I've said to in in every media platform, and I'm saying to you loud and clear, if Action SA one day decides to go into a coalition with the ANC, I will respect uh, that democratic outcome. But him and Mashaba cannot be associated with the ANC. Fact. It's if, if, it's, if, it's, if it's a threat, if it's a threat. It's not about the ANC. It's about what? They don't mention this about ANC. They mention about pretty much everything. No, like, but if yeah. there are disagreements on the table, the one thing that is ever present is that him and Hashem at any given moment will say, I can go. It's not just about it. Oh, where, uh, where did I ever... But she said that liar so clearly. I you know what I'm just saying. Where, where did I ever make such an irresponsible statement? Dad? I think... Uh, T, yeah. If you look at my life, um, please uh, to go and do your investigation with people I've worked with business over the last forty years or so. Um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm not a pushover, but I'm not the kind of person that would uh, plan. Uh, you don't do test from. I don't. My partner you know. I am, I'm, I am then. And um, I've spoken to about Dr. Popalati before because there are rumors circulating that she is trying to find a way to actually say you kind of laughed it off. If tomorrow I blink and then Popalati is a member of Action SA, what would you say to me? As a member of South I can do your Action SA membership, you can join online, you don't pay a cent. But uh, the whole position, which position? Uh, do, I don't honestly have a position. Action SA does not have a position for. You have a wide, you have a nice big wide opening for Houting Chair as we speak. Mm -hmm. No, of course, Funzi. We elected to Yes, all, all, all of us are in Tirum. 
Okay. Even even myself, uh, please look at our constitution. I mean, tell them, uh, the thing is, let's not use. It's sketchy with that answer, but I'm gonna leave it. No, but no, but no, but uh, Chidi, I don't know, but, no, but uh, no, but uh, Chidi, uh, look at the action SA's constitution. I'm the I'm the interim president okay. until such time that we go to a elective conference. And that's it from us this week. Thank you for listening. Come back again next week because uh, we are around. Like I said, we're back. This podcast was produced by Kamagwini Mavovana and Duduzile Masuku. For Eyewitness News, my name is T.D. Madia. Mm-hmm.